prospector trip here. Got a opportunity here to after work to work on the old oh yeah the shaker table. Anyway, I uh, put a couple extra little gizmos on it here. See it a lot better because there's the bolt, and of course I can adjust that bolt up or down and make the angle change, which makes it a heck of a lot more convenient. Of course, it's just sitting up there, but it don't need to be doing too much. Um, also, uh, I put some uh, concentrates in here. I've been running them and playing with them. You can see some gold in there already. Uh, a whole bunch of gold, actually. You can see all this gold in here. You see all that and that. And I got a, a big, gigantic uh, uh, piece that I, <laughs> that I melted down. And, uh, and it's pretty much all my gold from uh, 2018 which ain't much, but you know what? It's about the fun. You can see some gold here and gold here. But I got a whole bunch right there. I don't know if you can see that. But um, anyway, I'm gonna fire up the table here. We'll show you how it works one more time here. And uh, let's get a little water flow. So as soon as we fire up the water, a lot of material is gonna come right down with light. So all we need is just enough to get over these ripples here. You can see some of the material starting to blow down here, but it's super light. It ain't gold. I don't see no gold down here. Uh, there's a little flake right here, but that's for me putting it in there. We're going to fire up the shaking action now. Right about there seems to be really good. So let's watch it here together. And you can see the light stuff just immediately falling off. Look at the line of gold that's forming here. All right. It's forming right down here. This will be the finest concentrates here that should fall off here. I don't see too much flying over. Oops, sorry about that. Anyway, here goes a little bit of gold here. She's a fighting. She's a fighting it. <laughs> It'll go in there though. It, uh, it all does eventually. You can see the pile building up here. A whole bunch more big pieces. There's a whole bunch of finds in there. But these bigger pieces, uh, you know, I won't be finding that one. I do. Uh, hard rock mining mostly. It'd be mostly really fine gold. But uh, anyway, we're shaking away here. You see the nice line of gold here now, right? Right there. And then there's some sulfides, maybe some super fine gold there also. Let me turn off the shaker here just for a second. We can all look at it. So, water's still running. But you can see all the fine gold here, right? So that's what the shaker table does. All up in here. It kind of like an auto panner. <laughs> yeah, there's a few pieces in here. And uh, anyway, we'll keep it shaking away here and we'll shake her down. I've been testing the speed too, kind of going slow and you can see nothing kind of hardly moving there. A little bit faster seems to work. Right about there, usually. It's about the right speed. I think it's going to depend a lot on also uh, how fine the gold is, you know, and all that kind of stuff. How much gang material's in there, you know. This guy still ain't fell down, but, you know, I'll tip that down a little bit. This is my fine adjustment technique. The big chunk ain't going. There he goes. Yeah, I'll teach him. Anyway, it's going slowly but surely. You can see these pieces are walking out there slowly but surely. Yeah, you know, maybe need a little bit more shake on it there. Let's bump it up a scushy here. Let's go around the other side so I don't fall over all my junk here. So let's make sure we're still going. Oh yeah, we're still going, baby. Crank this dog up. Let's see what we got here now. Oh yeah, there it goes. You see all that gold's almost all gone here now. And it's got a little bit here. And of course some sulfides, black sand, some other heavy stuff, maybe some fine gold there too. And that dark material but you see this big chunk he's about ready to go all these little guys over here they're getting ready to go there they go yeah i'm pretty impressed so far uh even with my uh limited table building this is my first table I ever built so oh here's my the crying jewel <laughs> he's stuck up here let me put him out there in the game here i stuck him up there purposely so i wanted to get him out there at the last we could all watch him go here yeah, that, that big chunk, it's from uh, a bunch of things, uh, uh, some gold I found, of course, and then uh, a little bit of uh, material that I uh, 
a little bit of gold I got from some, uh, you know, memory uh, fingers and stuff like that that I uh, lifted off there with uh, some AP. And uh, anyway, you see my big nugget is going, he's trying, this other little one he says, hey man, I ain't going, I ain't going, I ain't going in there, I'm too big for that thing down there. So there's another kind of a medium little, kind of little picker. He's getting ready to go. Everybody else has gone over the side. Oh, there goes the picker. Here comes the big chunk. He's gonna push over that little guy. He says, move along, little dog. Come on now. Move on in there. I'm Big Louie. <laughs> anyway, I might need more shaker. <laughs> it's gonna be a rare day that you got a big old button like that flipped in your gold pile. So <laughs> a very rare day. Chunk it up a speed or two. Let's see if that'll do it. Yeah, a little faster. Maybe it's okay. He fell off there earlier, so I know it will <laughs> eventually. <laughs> we don't run out of video time. I'll probably have to edit this a bit here and get it uh, where it's uh, not so crazy. Anyway, I'm gonna give it some help. I'm tired of watching it. You guys are probably tired of watching it too. Anyway, uh, bottom line, looking pretty dang clean now. I don't see a speck in there right now. Let me stop it one time. Shut off my water for a minute here. Let's take a look. Well, there's a little piece right there still. A couple little pieces. Say, Fred, you go up that ridge. Now go down and up. These strips I don't like because they're bumps, you know, they're up instead of a hole, you know, instead of a groove. So I'm not going to take these dogs off, put a new you know, mat on here and groove the whole thing. Uh, anyway, one day at a time. Let's fire it up again here. Water flowing. Get a little bit of shake action. Let's see if we can get these other pieces down here. Anyway, I'm gonna cut out. I'm gonna cut you loose for me because it's already a long video <laughs> watching the shaker table. I love you guys. Bye bye. Well, I'm pretty much out of daylight. Doesn't look like it, but it is. <laughs> and uh, anyway, I've been uh, basically just scooping the material that I dumped into here, which is, of course, just busted up uh, gold ore and whatnot. And um, anyway, feeding it back through. And of course, I got, uh, you know, the gold that I actually purposely put in there, all in here, pretty much. There's my gigantic button. I hope that's in there. There we go. <laughs> there it is. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah. So anyway, it's uh, these are all the concentrates here. Now I re-ran this stuff here several times, uh, and I got a couple of flakes of gold. So I'm gonna play around with a little bit more. Also, like I said about a zillion times now, these are bumps instead of grooves, and uh, I'm gonna fix that because I think that's uh, you know, the professionals know that. They don't put pumps, they put grooves, and so I was just playing with it because I don't know. I'm not a professional. I'm a prospector. Prospector in training. Anyway, uh, yeah, it's basically pretty clean, so I'm going to pump it out and I'll pan it here in a second. I'll pan this up, show you all the gold, and we'll see what we got, baby. Bye bye. The woods is like an old good friend. Makes me feel warm and in the wind he's still alive oh fred bear walk with me down the trails again take me back back where i Good as I can do it with one hand. <laughs> yeah, looks like the, the recovered gold pretty well. All right, the table is working. Got to make it better though, way better. Bye -bye. Misty dusk, and it came from a tangle down below. And I tried to remember everything it taught me so well. I have to decide which way to go